Hello Sagittarius! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. Website. Schiffer Books is the website. Hopefully it shows up. It looks like it's showing up pretty good at the moment. Feel free to freeze frame there if you would like that information, of course. Supportive Oracle Cards. You are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. Website in the back here is rockpoolpublishing.com.au. A is an apple, U is an umbrella. What do we have for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Wow, can I speak? Maybe. Maybe. Um, what's, very push pull. Very push pull. All right, so stepping out of somebody else's grasp or reach. You're stepping out of somebody else's reach. This is very interesting to me because I see like you got the death card coming in with the opportunity attached to it. I almost feel like it's kind of like, I don't feel like the ending is here. I feel like you have the opportunity to change something and maybe step out of somebody else's reach. I feel like you have the chance to end somebody's control over you. Do they have control or do they... If this is a job thing, that would kind of like say to me, maybe working still in the same company but under a different person, that type of energy. And if there's a question mark with it. It doesn't have to be that way, but that's like, whatever you're doing, somebody's connected to you and they are not going to keep that same control. It's like there's a control issue here. I get that there's a control issue. Some type of control issue here. They want control of you. They feel like they should have control of you. That's subjective. Um, fire. Knight of Fire and the Hierophant. Number five. No, see, the things are not... What The way you need it to be and the way it actually is is not working. So it's kind of like you have to make a stable decision. Once you break this control with them, though, I feel like you can't allow it to come back. Okay. Opportunities here. You get to change how things are working. You get to change this person's influence over you. I don't like the word control for some reason. So whatever they're, however they're pu uh, pushing you or whatever they feel like they have the say over you, they may feel like you, they have control over you. You may be like, well, they have influence, but they might feel like they have control. It might be like one of those splitting hair type of things. Um, but this has to be one of those things. If you take away their influence... I don't know how that's really going. It's very dicey. Roll with it or whatever works for you. But if you take that away, you can't let it come back. Because I feel like if they, if you get out of their grasp once, if they get you in their grasp again, they're going to lock it down ten times as hard. Because they don't like it if you have your own ability to move around. For some reason, there's a, some type of problem here. And I almost feel like maybe to you it might seem like it's not that bad at the moment, but once you release yourself from it, I feel like you'll see it differently. Because um, you have emotional release in the Knight of Swords, like you need to get out of this situation. I feel like you do need to get out of this situation. And it's not like you're oblivious to that, but I almost feel like maybe you've been oppressed for too long that you don't realize how oppressive the situation is. When you step out of it and start doing something differently, I feel like it'll make a better sense. Like, oh, you know, I was really held down more. Like, it's almost like you've been carrying 10 books up and down the stairs constantly. And you're like, it's not that bad. I can do it. I'm used to it. But then when you carry just your books, which is maybe two or three, you're like, wow, this, this isn't nearly as difficult as I thought it was. And I could do so much more. And I have so much more ability. And I can, I can you know... I can answer text as I'm walking now because I have, you know, one arm has my books, the other hand I can do what I need to with my phone. Um, I feel like you don't realize how oppressed you are. 
take it with a grain of salt. So if it doesn't sound right, just, you know, because I feel like you're trapped. You really are trapped. And some of you don't realize how trapped you are. I feel like a lot of you would be like, well, yeah, it's a little restrictive, but I feel like somebody's holding you down and you don't realize how much. But if you step away and go this better direction, you will realize how much and you cannot return to this. Um, the world is coming up. Let me just see. Let me just get a little bit more information with the dice here because the world is here. I feel like it's working to your benefit. Uh, number 12, I believe, is the Hanged Man. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Um, this energy does not want to let you go. and They're going to try to hold you back. They're going to try to stagnate things for you and try to like... It's almost like if you're changing departments, this would be a person who would like slack on the paperwork or slack on the process to kind of like to try to get you to move back or try to get you to go backwards and kind of try to feel make you feel like it's not really working and try to get you to regress um it's that type of energy for some of you maybe you're disconnecting from somebody or maybe this is an on again off again relationship maybe it's better off than on i'm getting um take it with a grain of salt of course because I see like somebody else, when you step out of this and you're working in a different situation, there's going to be other people who try to help you see the truth. Kind of like, no, Sagittarius, you shouldn't be working towards other people's success. You should be more working towards your own. This Other people shouldn't be using your moxie and your energy to their benefit. Use it for your benefit. You know, you're a gift to yourself. Don't be a gift to, just to others. Like, if you want to help others and contribute, that's great. But you need to be a benefit to you first. Um, it's time to step out of that energy and into your own. And you have a lot of energy. Like, Sagittarians tend to get a lot done. And I feel like they're very cooperative, very helpful people usually. That's how I've usually seen them. Very helpful, very cooperative. But it's kind of like, that's great, but let's... That should be benefiting you most. Your energy should be benefiting you most. It's, it's very respectful and great that you want to help other people, but like all these things that you want, you should have those, and you have the ability to get those. The goddess coming in with the seven of cups is kind of like, it's your turn. It's your turn to have stuff. And it's not selfish for you to do for yourself. A lot of people do. It's great because you're always going to help somebody. But like if you're 70% for yourself and 30% for other people, that's not bad. <laughs> that is not a bad thing. Uh, unless you were planning on having one of those lives where you're just helping everybody else and not yourself. I mean, if that's what you want. Um, yeah, there's some weird energy here. Somebody is making out. It's like this. It's like you're doing for everybody and whoever you're doing for, they're keeping it all. So it's not like they're helping everybody. They're helping themselves, and whatever you do, they're using to help themselves too. That's not fair. That's not That's not right. Um, there's something better out here for you. The Ace of Cups is waiting for you. Something much better. You helping yourself. You're getting what you want. The thing is, I feel like whoever this is hitting for especially, there's somebody that, like, very helpful, very good for other people, enjoys helping other people, and that's great, but it's, like, not at your detriment not at your detriment and i feel like that's what's happening here um making better decisions and helping people who help themselves is better as well um not helping people who just want to keep using your help to help themselves it's kind of like you know you teach a person to fish they're they're going to have more how's that work i know this i, I screwed it up teach a person to fish nope still screwing it up give a person a fish they eat for a day teach a person to fish they eat for a lifetime. Am I saying that right? I'm screwing it up. I know I'm screwing it up. It's something like that. Um, help those who want to help themselves and teach them how to help themselves. But don't keep getting the fish for people. Don't keep collecting fish and giving them fish. But all they're doing is they're just making out and you doing it for them. Teach them how to do it for themselves and gravitate towards people who want to help themselves. If you get stuck in a situation with people who constantly just want you to live their life for them, that's not good. Teach them to not only empower themselves, but then to one hand wash the other. Let them help you sometimes too. You know what I mean? Like, I'm wrenching my hands. That seems a little nefarious. Okay, I don't know what that means, but there we go. Um, what else do we have for this? Like, there's something else. I'm like, what else is waiting here for you if you step out of this situation? The devil and the four of pentacles. The devil's on the outside, though. 
that dice rolled off to the side. It's the 15, the number 15. I don't know if I, if I held it correctly, but... Um, the 15. The devil. It's on the outside. This person needs to go on the outside and stay on the outside. They had their chance. If they're on the outside, keep them on the outside. I just keep getting that. Like, don't get caught back up in this situation, because if they get you in there again, it's going to be ten times worse to get away from them next time. Because I feel like they really, they're really, like, there's something up with this person. Um, go, gravitate towards people who want to help themselves. And they should be helping you back in return. There shouldn't be you constantly helping somebody and not getting anything in return. Um, it's almost like, for example, if you were a healthcare worker and you worked in a hospital and you were helping patients recover. You're helping them recover and then live life on their own and return to helping themselves and return to doing for themselves. You're not signing up to live their life for them and to constantly tie their shoes for them and you know constantly you know wipe their mouth when they eat something or constantly make their food. You're teaching them how to get back to that so they can do it for themselves. And the energy you're walking away from want you to tie their shoes, want you to balance their checkbook, want you to do this for them, want you to do that. They just want to sit in their chair and watch you do it and you do it for them. In fact, I feel like this would be one of those people who would be like, if you could, if you would be willing to feed them, hand feed them their supper, dinner, lunch, breakfast, I did that backwards, but if you were willing to, willing to do that, they'd be there all day, all day for it. This is not good. We don't need this. This, is, this isn't being helpful. This is being enabling. That's not helping. You know what I mean? Um, so step away from this energy, go towards a better energy that serves you and that actually returns the favor. At some point, this energy should return the favor. and The one you're walking away from doesn't. Let somebody else fall into that trap, I guess. Uh, everybody has to learn it for themselves. It's just that this person knows you so well at this point. If you return to them, they're going to compound that and make it just that much more difficult for you to get away from them. A new person coming in to mess with them or that they're going to mess with, They'll have to learn that person. That person may have to have their own time to where they get to learn the, the same lesson, and then they move on from it. Um, don't return to it. That's why I keep getting, like, don't return to it. Go into something better, keep that, do for you, and leave that to somebody else. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.